Our next step is inserting this SD card. Now, the SD card should work right away, but if it doesn't for any reason, don't worry about it. You guys can just format it first and then place it inside your camera. You guys can format this within your computer, okay? If you guys have a PC, just right click on it, format. With Mac, it's called Disk Utility. You guys can use Disk Utility in order to format this as XFAT or MS-DOS FAT. So around your camera, you guys will see this circle right here, and that's what we have to lift off. And right in here, if I can get some more light in here, you guys will see that slot. The SD card will go right into there. So it goes in this way, and just press on it until you guys hear a clicking sound. That means it's in, and to take it out, take out the SD card from here, all you guys have to do is press on it, it's gonna pop out, and then you guys can actually take it out, okay? Don't just drag it out, but press on it to actually pop it in and pop it out. Same thing, you guys have to press on it and then it's gonna snap out. After that, we can just close this up. Make sure it's nice and secure. Now here we have a lot of cables, right? And the one we're looking for is this one right here for now. Okay, this is the most important one. Well, not the most important one, but the one that you guys are gonna be using for sure. And that's because it's to power. And that's where your adapter comes in. So you guys have to plug this in right there. And there you go. This will go into some electricity. Now your tripod. Some of you might use it, others might not. Depends, again, where you guys are gonna place this. However, all you guys have to do is screw this into here. And just be careful when you're screwing it in. Try to do it really straight and then it's gonna go really nice in there and secure. If it doesn't go straight, it's not gonna screw in properly and you guys are gonna have a hard time. So that's it, that's all you guys have to do. Now this works like any tripod. So if you unscrew this, you guys will see and you're gonna be able to move this around until you lock it into place. So it's something that you guys may want to do later and then just lock it in there. Let's say this is going this way and your camera will go over there. So let me just bring this up a little bit and you can place your camera whichever way you guys want. So you can go right here or you actually can go in the other side. So that's really good because again, that really depends where you guys are gonna place this camera. Let's say we place this right here. All we have to do is move this around until it secures right in there, okay? So put some pressure into it, and there you go. And you can put your final touches with this, and then you're set to go, okay? That's for the mounting on your wall or wherever it's gonna go. That's how it's gonna look at the end, okay? So that's the physical setup. Now, we're gonna go throughout the actual setup of this thing, which is using an app. And we can download that app from the App Store, or if you guys have an Android device, then just go to your Play Store and that's the app that you guys want in order to configure this. And the initial setup, no, it's not throughout Wi-Fi. You guys actually have to have an ethernet cable and that's gonna go right here. So your ethernet cable is gonna go right here, ethernet cable directly to your router. And then with your app, we can get this sorted. So right now I searched up the app right here on my iPad. I can set this up with my iPad as well. So if you guys have a tablet, you guys can do that. And I'm just gonna download it. So for most of you, you won't see that iCloud icon. This is an iPad, so that's why I see that. Most of you will see this message, get, and then it's gonna start downloading. And we're gonna take you throughout the process right now. Once this is downloaded, we have to hook this up in order to sync them up and get everything set up. So here is the ethernet cable, and this one was supposed to plug it in. So this goes directly to your router, okay? So this, my router's over there. And that's why this is going over there. And this is going to my camera. That's the adapter that you guys will see within your camera. That's the very first step. Then we're gonna plug it into some electricity and we're gonna get started with our app. Now, as soon as you guys open up your app, you will get this. I would suggest, highly suggest putting allow. And then you guys will see this screen where it tells you to log in or create an account. So for most of you, quick register, which is right here on the right hand side. Do that, register. You guys can enter your phone number or email if you guys have it already, password. But like I said, most of you just do a quick register, put in your name, everything, all the information you guys need, and you're good to go into the next step. Once you do that, you guys will see this screen right here. Below here, you guys will see devices, messages, image, and me. This right here is under devices. So as long as you guys are under devices, just click on the plus sign. Make sure your camera is turned on right now. To turn it on, just plug it into my electricity, that's all. There's no button to turn it on. 
and then you guys will see add new device. So that's exactly what we have to do. Or you guys can scan. In this case, again, we're just going to add new device. And there's several ways in order to do this. So since we did the Ethernet way, the cable, that means it's wired connection. So we're going to choose that very last option. And here it tells you exactly what I told you guys to do already. Okay, which is your LAN port, which is your router. And then we got our Ethernet cable running. Everything's good to go. So at this point, we should see our device right here. So just tap on it. Your default password should be 123, however, contact the manufacturer if or whoever sold it to you if you guys can't find the password in your manual or anywhere else. But usually it's 123 or 123, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? But for this configuration, it's usually just 123. From here, we're just going to choose where this is going to go. So in this case, it's going to go around our garage. And there we go. So this should say this, add it successfully, and then we can check my device and I can see what it's viewing. Okay, so I want to add that for sure. At this point, it is recommended you guys set that password. However, you don't have to, so I'm just gonna close that. And right here, since my camera is just on its side, I can see that. So I'll put in there, reopen settings, confirm. So I've got my camera right beside me so you guys can see my iPad that I'm using. I can view it down and so on. So it's going to be a little bit of lag between what I'm actually doing with the camera, what I'm seeing here, which is fine. That's normal. So everything's transmitting. So what we really need to do right now is convert this into Wi-Fi. We don't want it to be wired connected. If you guys are doing this with an Ethernet cable, you're kind of done. You guys can customize more stuff. And, but this would be it for your video, okay guys? So you guys are pretty much done. If this is your ethernet thing, done, done, done. However, if you guys want this to work with Wi-Fi, so you guys can place your camera anywhere, then we just have to do a little bit more work. Before we keep going, I do wanna mention I do have a separate video of how to troubleshoot these type of cameras if you guys are having problems with it. But anyways, assuming that everything's going okay so far, we're just gonna go up here on the top right hand side. You guys will see this icon for settings. Go right into your settings and we're gonna change this up. So before we change it up to Wi-Fi, we are gonna do a firmware update because that always helps with everything really. And that's gonna be down here. It's your very last option. It's gonna say firmware update. So tag right there. And once we tap there, we should see something like this. So to update our firmware right here, we just have to tap on upgrade. So once again, this is the app that we're using in order to make this firmware update and everything else that has to do with this camera. So at this point, we should see this message. Okay, so it's upgrading firmware, it may take about a minute, and then power off. So do exactly that, do not touch your camera, just let it be, it's gonna reset, it's gonna restart, and then we're done with this firmware update. Once the firmware update is done, if you tap right here in firmware update, you guys should see that exact message, it's already up to date. So. Let's just tap on network settings for now. And we're gonna change this up into Wi-Fi. So what we're actually gonna leave it as wired connection. However, we're gonna select from our Wi-Fi list, whatever your Wi-Fi is. So that's my Wi-Fi, I'm gonna confirm this. I'm gonna put in my password. Once I confirm my password, it's gonna say this. And this is really important. I know it's kinda weird that you're not changing this from wired connection to Wi-Fi. I know it doesn't make sense, but this is the way we have to change it up. So this works with Wi-Fi and not just through our ethernet cable. So right now we could see that it automatically changed from wire connection to Wi-Fi. So right now, if we disconnect our camera from that ethernet cable that we did initially, it's going to be done and the whole setup is done. So at this point, what we're going to do is go back and we're going to continue with some setup that you guys may want to do. So although in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a few things. You guys should tap on every single one of these options and see what's going on there so you guys can configure this to be exactly what you guys want. So at this point, I recommend going through every one of these settings and changing things up according to what you guys want. However, at this point, I'm just going to go back on this. And right here is settings. And that's going to take me back here. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to go back again. And down here below, so let me just move this up a little bit. 
you guys will see me. So just tap on me. And right here, you guys will see general settings. Now this is a little bit different, okay? And this is also some stuff that you guys should configure yourselves, such as the resolution. The resolution, you guys can change it up from HD, SD, or LD. I like HD, SD tends to take a little bit more space sometimes. So I'm just gonna leave it as HD because that's good enough for me. And then we have other stuff right here, which is some default stuff is good. So start auto record upon alarm. Yes, most of you will want that. So we're gonna leave that on. However, you guys can turn that off right now. You guys can turn off anything from here that you don't want. So I just wanted to show you these settings because they're a little bit more simple and most likely what you guys want. Down here below, you guys will always see devices, messages, image, okay? So I'm gonna go into devices and right here I can see what's happening, time date and everything. I can also share this playback. I can do a lot right here. I'm gonna put play on this. Okay, once I put play, this should be live streaming so I can view everything. So right here, if you guys want to listen to what's happening here, you guys can always turn this on right here. So that's your sound and you guys can hear what's happening here. Okay, you guys can always turn that off so it doesn't bug you at the moment. You guys can take a snapshot or record yourselves. What I'm gonna do at this point is format our SD card. I'm gonna do that right from here because that's the best way to do it. So to format that SD card in your camera, all you guys have to do from this right here is just go up here into your settings. Once you guys hit your settings, this will pop up and you should see record settings. So that's this option right here. So let's just hit on record settings and then we're gonna see this, okay? This is the important information. Right down here, we're gonna see format TF card and we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna hit confirm. It's gonna delete everything. Obviously formatting means deleting. So you're deleting every single thing there. So if this is an older TF card that you had in there, it's gonna delete everything from it. We're gonna start from scratch. Right here, we can see remaining TF card capacity. Everything looks perfect, so we're good. We can manual record, we can schedule record. You guys can choose what to do exactly. So what I don't want to do is manual record usually. I usually want alarm record. You guys can set up motion detection and so on, or you guys can schedule this recording. So if I tap right here, I can schedule it to record at certain times. At this point in time, most of you will want the alarm record. So I'm just gonna leave it alarm record right now. And record duration, I can put it for one minute, I can put it three minutes, it depends. I'm gonna put the max, which is three minutes. Okay, so even after something happened, it, it detected something, it's gonna record for three minutes. I can always go back on here. Another setting that I should highlight for you guys is this push notification setting. So I'm gonna go right into there, push notification setting. I'm gonna see this right here. So I can't alarm email, I can't put a buzzer on so it vibrates once there's an alarm going on so you guys can see on your phone what's going on through your camera. So you guys can change that up from here. That would be it for this setup video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.